I've learned in, in doing makeovers, especially for food packaging, that there's a lot you can change as long as you keep one or two key elements. Like for when I did Sarah Beth's, I, I kept the oval and I kept her name in upper and lower case and then I just upgraded everything else. It was the same with the good housekeeping seal of approval and you can make a big difference that way and, and avoid confusing consumers. I'm Louise Feely. I'm an Italian-American graphic designer and I specialize in food packaging and restaurant identities and books. Well, I started my design studio 28 years ago and that was um, a, a different time. It was before the internet and I had to, the first thing I had to do was give the studio a name and people had to find you in the phone book in those days, there was no internet. So I, I knew that calling it Louise Feely LTD, which is what I did, would be a liability. But I, I realized that I wanted to send a clear message, and that was, if you have a problem with my being female, then I have a problem with you being my client. Somehow it worked. Um, and, and now, of course, uh, of course it, seems, it seems absolutely doable, but um, I just made it work. I, it, it, w it wasn't an easy time in restaurants when I first started out because this was all new. It's, pe people were starting to invest more money into restaurants, but I had to, usually the first meeting I would have with a restaurant owner, I would have to convince them why they had to pay both me and the printer. So it was like little baby steps like that that had to be taken to, uh, to get where it's gone. Every new project that I work on is always a challenge. There's, it's never a straight line. It's, it's, even when I think I know what I'm doing, it's never that easy, which is good because otherwise it would be boring. Well, when a client comes to me uh, and we, we're talking about what the client wants and what the consumer wants, I try to take them both uh, into consideration. But in the end, uh, it's, I think it's what I want and what I think is best that usually is what happens. I mean, a client is usually looking for guidance, whether they know it or not. And also, I've been, uh, I've been experimenting with typeface design, which I had been rejecting for a long time and then finally decided to embrace. And most of the fonts that I've been working on are all Italian or French inspired. And they're, they're letter forms that I've been using in my work for a long time, but I never, I never had been interested in making them into a complete font before. And it's fun.